Okay, so fraction routines, fraction shakers, advanced version. So up until now, we've been using the six-sided dice, which is good, except it does limit us because it leaves out a zero and it also leaves out the seven, eight, and nine. So I have 10-sided die now that I'm going to use instead of the six-sided die. That just gives us a fuller range of fractions. You may decide to move to this after you feel comfortable that the students are understanding the simpler version. Shake it up. You can do all the same routines, except now you have to train kids that when there's a zero in the denominator, then they can't use that one or they have to shake again. It's up to you. And so you can do all the same routines, but using now um, a slightly more sophisticated set of numbers. So I won't use that one because I can't have zero in the denominator, but I will use this one, which is nine halves, that one, which is zero halves, this one, which is nine over one, zero over seven, two over two, and one over three. So, um, so I will say, okay, First of all, you could go through all the whole set of routines again, but now you get to have a whole nother routine called choose the ones that have a value of zero. There they are, that's zero. <laughs> okay, that, that's easy, but um, everything else could be the same and you just end up with more sophisticated numbers. Okay, so hopefully, uh, oh, by the way, I, I really, I mean, you could have kids write this down as eight over zero. But I prefer that they don't even write that because it's not even, um, it's not even, it doesn't make sense. And so I'm going to put an X there instead. All right. Um, all your other routines could be the same. Just wanted to show you the flexibility of the tools that you have so that you can choose to do that.